Hey everyone, this is Todd Hazelton with MobileBurn.com. It's an exciting day for us. We're checking out Verizon's new 4G LTE network. And we're using one of the newest devices, and actually the only one right now that'll run on it, the LG VL600. Pantech has one coming out shortly after this too. This is a $99 modem, and uh, that requires a two-year contract. And there's, while well, I'm getting the unboxed here, there's two plans available. There is a $50 5 gigabyte plan, as well as an $80 a uh, 10 gigabyte plan and any overage fees uh, go into a uh, per gigabyte basis and that's ten dollars uh, per gigabyte here's the device itself inside the box and we also have a tips hints and shortcuts and it came with the CD uh, which I have installing upstairs here's the modem itself it's kind of big actually so it pops down like that and you have an indicator light here that shows uh, your signal strength as you go. And this looks like uh, some kind of holster here or a clip uh, for clipping on the things. And I'll show you what's neat. This actually uses a SIM card now. So it's LTE. And I'll pop it out. We can... Oh, we don't need to pop it out. There you go. So that's a SIM card. I, it came with one, so I popped it in myself. And uh, pretty easy to do. Doesn't look like there's a micro uh, USB slot on this device so you can't use it for storage either I don't think not that I'm seeing right now alright so that's a quick look at this now let's go through uh, some of the network performance I'll hook it up to my computer and we'll go through a DSL reports test and I'll tell you about some results uh, from speedtest.net as well okay so here we are looking at the Verizon wireless signal you can see I have the desktop manager software installed there and it shows that we're connected and if I go to the bottom of the screen here you can see that I do indeed have a 4G connection uh, right there and I've been connected for a little over an hour now and testing the speeds now let's go through some of the speed tests okay here we have speedtest.net loaded up and we're going to do a couple tests with the New York server here so I'm going to click New York and begin the test so you can see for yourself the speeds that we're getting uh, right here in New York City so right there we just stopped at 18 point one two megabits per second and we're going uploads now and that just finished up at 4.28 megabits per second now for good measure we'll test it again uh, earlier today I was getting in the range of 25 megabits per second actually and we're almost hitting 20 there but 18 and I saw as low as 11 and 14 uh, also and that right there was neg uh, 19 megabits per second that's on the download and 3.84 uh, upload now quickly we'll go to another test uh, dslreports.com I'll show you the results there okay here we are at DSL reports and we're gonna check out their New York New York flash speed test Okay, so that right there put us at 3,577 kilobits per second download, the 39 millisecond latency, and an upload speed of 2,374 kilobits per second. And for good measure, we're going to test that again. We had 9,754 kilobits per second, the download. And 5,085 kilobits per second on the upload. Okay, so that's a quick look now at Verizon's new 4G LTE network that's launching on December 5th. Uh, it'll have initially the LG modem that I showed you earlier, which I'm running here, uh, available for $99, and that's with a new two-year contract. Uh, it's also available without a contract for $249.99. And again, the plans are $50 for a 5 gigabyte plan or $80 for a 10 gigabyte plan. And there is overage fees of $10 for every gigabyte. So it's, not, it's unlimited, but you get charged uh, if you go over what 
what you're allotted. This is Todd Hazelton with Mobileburn.com.